see. All right, let's move on to uh, MLS. Uh, we had rivalry week uh, over the weekend. NYCFC in the Hudson River Derby against Red Bull. Did not go well it for the boys in blue. NYCFC did not play. NYCFC away played. Uh, that's, that's a, a di different club. It's a different club. That's a different club. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know them. They <laughs> stink. <laughs> NYCFC home. home. Great club. This is, I mean, why? They should be winning CONCACAF Champions League. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but, That's who you want to and, show up. And look, and, and you could argue that Rebel Arena is kind of still a home stadium, but it's not. No, nah, you can't. They didn't argue. have the stickers up. And no. They didn't have all the problems. Burke Kreischer wasn't. <laughs> it's not a, <laughs> that was kind of cool, though. Burke, uh, Shane Torres was there. Shane Torres. That's what we were talking about. There was mm -hmm. another uh, two comments. I said, text them. Burke Kreischer, uh, the machine, right? Yeah. Um, Promoting the machine the movie okay yeah and uh he was out there he he um he interrupted tolkien's uh, token john tolkien's uh uh interview which this is i want to did you know tolkien's 20 yeah he's a kid bro he's a, there's uh, something about that guy that makes me feel like he's older than me <laughs> i don't know what it is he I mean, carries there's a lot himself. there's a lot of people way more mature than you so well, yeah <laughs> so yeah I can see and that. a lot of them are 20 <laughs> uh but the this was the, uh, this is my only gripe with uh mls and how they used that um that mls uh that burt kreischer little you know that, that's content bro that's a it's he's a very popular comedian massively uh, popular he, he was By in the, the way, capital no stand one, no one at cbs knows who he is no one else there. They're like, who? Who? Is he funny? Unbelievable. Is he a big deal? And I'm like... But this is an That's MLS crazy. wrap up. There's a movie, a second movie coming out. <laughs> an MLS wrap up. Uh, they they Which show... Really, Van Wilder is about his life, by the way. That's the first movie for yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Look, look, this the is a press you know. junket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the Burt Kreischer autobiography. <laughs> yeah, section. for those of you who don't know. <laughs> but the uh, MLS wrap up is uh, showing a, a, a clip of the John Token uh, interview and I'm waiting. I'm like, oh, this is going to be great because I'm going to get to see uh, Jillian Sakovitz, Nigel Rio Coker, and, and Andrew Reby react to Burt Kreischer interrupting the token interview. Bro, why did they cut it out of the MLS wrap-up show? They cut out Burt Kreischer's moment. And it's like, bro, this is so... This is crazy. Do you want... You're giving away a month for free. <laughs> because no one's watching. Here's one way to get people to watch. Have Burt Kreischer with his shirt off all over <laughs> this damn thing. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. I, I just wanted to see what uh, Nigel Rio Coker would have had to say about this. Would not be allowed in <laughs> England, bro. That's I, I it, especially it, when you have like two. I know that not on that uh, uh, show, but you have two Red Bull guys all over 360. Right, right. No one brings this up. <laughs> well, the, I mean, in, yeah, that part of the show is over. Yeah, so but you get in the, the wrap up, no the, they should have. <laughs> they should have done it. I don't know why. I, it, Poor decision. I don't see the point in, this is, in omitting we that. about how MLS will just continue to get in their own way. Yeah. Just Multiple I, times, like when they try to punish LA Galaxy for the shooting moon, yeah, yeah, yeah. shooting stars yeah. theme, mm -hmm. never hiring us. There's so many ways <laughs> so they've just many, gotten in their own way. Just constant failure after failure. No, no. Uh, I, I just thought it was a strange decision because it would have been... It's bad decision it's making. A fun, it would have been such a fun moment. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully somebody... I mean, we know some MLS folks that If Tom this. Segura kicked the door in, <laughs> we'd make a clip out of okay, it. Okay, that's going to be... You're going to be saying that quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. Um, but uh, uh, rivalry week, uh, a couple of the big matchups. We have to obviously go over uh, Hudson River Derby. NYCFC lose 1-0. Uh, All the bum teams won, bro. Chicago <laughs> won. LA Galaxy won. New York Red Bulls won. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. It's crazy. Uh, look, overall, I thought NYCFC, to me, was just objectively the better team. I, I, I was watching this game, and I'm like, there's no... I'm like, there's no way they're going to lose this, right? No. There's no way. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Gabby Pereira uh, gets that, 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 that great shot that that, that kind of, uh, you know, nicks the, the, the crossbar. And just a, a overall frustrating game because, again, we see NYCFC at home. Where, wh why can't they find some of this chemistry uh, a, a, a way? Makes no real sense, but look, Rebel they held on. Uh, but I thought they were gonna. They were also that goal was pretty incredible. It by was Fernandez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. incredible. It, it was it was awesome. Uh, but that said, I agree with you. This wasn't necessarily a obvious win for uh, no, no, Rebel. No, no. But look, NYCFC, remember us? <laughs> <laughs> let me let me talk to you real quick, bro. Get a striker. Bro, I it's mean, that's the only thing you're missing. That's obvious. That's obvious. Everyone else goes back to the positions they want to play in <laughs> and that they're good at. Yeah. Get a striker. Talis Magno doesn't want to do it. Mm. I respect it. He's good, at the, he's good on the left. Go get a striker. 
please. Yeah. They, um, what do we got? Three weeks before Europe season's done? Start leaking some names. <laughs> well, th- that's the thing. I, I think at this point, look, they lost in, in U.S. Open Cup to uh, FC Cincinnati, 1-0. 1-0. Uh, lo- lose to Red Bull. They, 1-0. Uh, lo- they what, lost to Charlotte, uh, 3-2. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think Which is it, essentially a 1-0. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's obvious. Obvious they need uh, they need a striker. Look, and it, it, I, I, I brought this up before, but getting rid of uh, Eber, it, maybe he wanted more money. Maybe it just didn't work out. Whatever. He ain't even playing that much in Seattle. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, it seems like such a wild decision. Eber might not go. have been the guy you roll with for an entire season either. He's injury prone based on his history with us. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's... It's better. It would have been having him would have been better than yeah. this. I mean, because not having a a you know a, a consistent starting striker has has changed the role of I think of several other players. Santi, Santi for sure. But also be- Richie Ledesma, man, this guy has proven to me that he wants to make that final pass. Yeah, he has no one to but really he, get it to. He has to go wide <laughs> and then be like, yeah. well, I still got work to do, bro. I did all the good There's stuff. There's just like no real threat in the middle of like t- to keep the center backs a little Nothing. bit worried. So it's it, it's been tougher to score. I saw Nick Cushing uh, uh, did an interview with Glenn Crooks and he was just c- c- kind of saying, and I don't know if this is... I wouldn't say it's out of touch, but he was kind of just saying that the offense is looking how they want it to look. They just can't get that over that final hump. He's And he said in the past that there will be a, a striker signed. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he can't just keep beating that drum. He has to say something else. Yeah. And I will say the offense looks good. The offense does look. The buildup yeah. is great. But we we're not the the you know my wife could tell you <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the finish the right. finishing okay it's almost as important as the building <laughs> we want to cut the ribbon yeah to let everybody go you know come inside the building right my wife my <laughs> wife will tell you hey stop all the dancing <laughs> at some point you gotta at least walk it over the line let me you ask know? you guys a question I got a question for you go for it a big one for NYCFC a new player they're gonna sign who is the next Denny Buanga that's Ooh. gonna come. Because I think this is where MLS is going to go. They're going to start searching for the lower European leagues like Turkey or like a bad French team or something like that or the Eredivisie. And they're going to find these players who are maybe still kind of in their prime looking for a big payday, not good enough to reach that, you know, Premier League level. Is there anyone we could go for? Um... I mean, that's it's a, a it's a tough one because it's uh, there's yeah we would be MLS scouts if we could give you that actual <laughs> name. But Denny Bowanga is twenty eight years old. Came from uh, Gabon as a country. I can't. Let me see if I can pull up his. Uh, he was in Saint Etienne and yeah, then he was at uh, Galatasaray yeah. for a little bit. But I mean, he was at uh, Na- Nim? Nimes. Nimes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if that's exactly how it's pronounced, but Lorient, <laughs> Tours, Strasbourg, Lorient, Lorient Bay. Journey, journeyman. Bro, I just feel journeyman. like this is going to be the next mo- the next wave. He's doing so well, and he's yeah. a player in his he's, prime. Dude, he's killing it. But he's it. also Nine on a goals. very good team, right? LAFC have uh, brought in just great player after great player. They find pieces that just that complement uh, each other. Well, and, and Did you see his goal? Carlos Vela just like rolled it over to him and was like, yo, go get me a statistic. <laughs> <laughs> go get me a scat. Uh, LAFC also, <laughs> uh, who is it? John Thorrington, right? The the GM. Um, but he has they've made right this good decisions and they've made good decisions and also letting players go. Uh, um, you know, they, they, they had... Who's, that, who's the guy they called like uh, Swaggy T? Swaggy T. Remember? Oh, 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 uh, he, uh, um... Tristan Blackman. Tristan Blackman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's at Vancouver. Who's having a decent season, but yeah. he was like a good center back, and they were like, nah, nah. not good enough. Like, uh, the, the goalkeeper, we'll find better. Tyler Miller. They got rid of Tyler Miller. Like, they, they also spent big on with an MLS of with, for Aaron Long. Aaron, yeah, yeah. So they they've they've just been they they're like kind of cutthroat. They're like, nah, we have a standard, and if it's not met, Which, can I be honest with you? That isn't that what Real Madrid does. Oh, 100%. Like when Real Madrid 100%. thinks we've gotten what we can out of you, you're you're done. Yeah. Look Casemiro. at Casemiro. Yeah. Casemiro is a prime example recently. If you go back, unfortunately, uh, Mesut Ozil, you yeah, know, yeah. when they're like, yeah, this the, the headache isn't worth your talent. We can find talent elsewhere. You're, you're done. And there's no player that Real Madrid gets rid of because they lost them. It's because they wanted to get rid of them. Exactly. And to some degree, LAFC is kind of now becoming that team for MLS where they're like, no, 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 we'll... When you hit that part in the graph 
where your quality and value start to cross, yeah. you're out. Yeah, I and mean, we'll move on and get somebody else. We can always ask the questions of you know how they how did they get Gareth Bale and how did they get through all these financial sort of hurdles. But, oh, <laughs> but we'll be looking into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so no, it's a it's a difficult question to answer. Um, be I mean, look, but you know, obviously this summer you should expect a, a, a couple you know big signings and 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 you know. Uh, um, kind of game changing players. Hopefully, Lionel Messi. That that's uh, who I'm crossing my fingers for. Although, uh, but if, if it's news is that he might be able to sign back with Barca. Well, well let's get Mike Ryan Ruiz uh, <laughs> yeah. to, to, to toss that dumb rumor out of the way. <laughs> well, also Barca was the one that said that, so it's kind yeah. Of, I, look, I, honestly, I don't it's part of his press conference. I think that's. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think Messi going back to Barcelona would be detrimental to I Barcelona. Think so stupid. I, I don't understand why he would go. You don't back. go back. Yeah, yeah, bro. Block your ex. <laughs> <laughs>